All right, uh, let's talk about another area uh, in this Plaquemines Parish. This would be that massive pumping station in Bell Chase. We have a crew there. In fact, I think we've got Bradley ba Blackburn there. Yeah. Yeah, guys, we're at the West Closure Complex, which is, of course, the largest pump station in the world. All 11 pumps have been flipped on for about the last hour. You can see all the water that's coming out right now. That is actually less water than was at the beginning. They're in cool down mode right now because they've had the pumps on. They've been able to push enough water out to achieve their goals. This facility was created after Katrina to help deal with all of the water from the West Bank of New Orleans. It takes the water out of the canals and pushes it out. And right now I'm with John Mons and with the facility here. And John, tell me, uh, tell me more about what you're doing today. So uh, we're pumping down the uh, Algiers and Harvard canals. We're pumping them down to about a one in advance of all the rain that is anticipated in this area. Uh, that will give the interior pumps the ability to function uh, effect efficiently and not have them uh, be forced to push against the head of water. So in some ways, this is a preventative step. Yes, yeah, so it, it took two rows. So this facility also has a sector gate. But once we close that sector gate to prevent storm surge from going into the uh, metropolitan area, it also prevents water from going out. So we have to pump it out. You had some amazing statistics about how much water is coming through this facility. Put it into perspective for us. Yeah, so that is, uh, it moves 19,140 cubic feet per second. That is enough to fill an Olympic size swimming pool in three seconds. That is a lot of, a lot of water. Now, I know you're about to close it down for now, but what is, uh, what's the plan moving forward? All right, so we have uh, iridium. We have an iridium satellite network that measures the water levels. We're going to man this facility for the duration of this event, and when the water comes up, we'll pump it back down. Standing at the ready. Okay. Well, thank you for letting us come out here and see this today. And uh, so basically, what we understand is that by keeping these on for the last hour, they have been able to lower the water in the canals by about a foot and a half. And that goes a long way to giving more room for rainfall to flow into these spaces and pool in the canals, which is, of course, where everybody wants that water to be. So this is a look at what's happening here at this facility. We'll send it back to you.